Hi, this is Dave, I'll do the likes photography, and I'm going to show you how to import a template, uh, in this case a card template, into ProSelect. And um, this particular template I bought online from Sarah Gordy, and uh, so it's already been made for me. Okay, once you extract it using Windows uh, and open the, uh, the template in uh, Photoshop, uh, here's what you need to do. Uh, first thing is, um, here's all the layers, and uh, this is the picture layer here, our photo mask, and these are um, text layers on top. Uh, we make sure the text layers are always on top. Uh, bottom, uh, you need to create a blank, uh, an empty layer. So I'm going to come down here and hold the control key and click here, and that will create an empty layer below. If for some reason it has a, a lock, um, uh, make sure it's unlocked. Okay, and from from here, then we go up to the actual uh, photo mask uh, where the picture is. And if you want to see exactly what that is, I'm going to turn off these other layers. So you can see it's this gray area. And we're going to select the uh, magic wand tool. Make sure your tolerance is on zero. And just click on the gray area. Make sure you are on that particular layer. Um, and, uh, okay, so we're going to turn our layers back on. Okay, so your selection is made, and so you want to, we want to group everything, uh, all the layers except for the text layers and the uh, blank layer below. So we're going to start here, hold down the shift key, click down on the background layer, and then from here we're going to do a control G, which is going to group the layers, and then we're going to come down to layer mask button, hit that, it creates a mask, and we need to invert the mask, so then we're going to do a control I. And okay, so you can see now we have transparency where the picture should go. And now all I need to do is save this as a PSD file. Uh, and I'm going to come out to desktop and uh, save it into uh, import to ProSelect. That's the folder I've saved it to. So we're going to save that. Uh, this is Crosby Card 3 PSD. Okay, so we've done that. So we're all set. We're going to close out of Photoshop, and now we want to open ProSelect. So we can import um, that particular uh, template into ProSelect. So um, I'm going to go to Template, Edit Template, and um, we're going to go, I'm going to go to, in this case, most of my templates are in this particular group 9. Okay, and we're going to import it in this group. So first thing we need to do is add a, a blank template space here, untitled, and uh, we're going to title it um, uh, Crosby Card, Card, and this particular one happens to be three, um, and um, we'll want to make a composite type. This particular card is going to be fixed, um, and also you want to select Overlay Image. Once you select Overlay Image, it will ask you where where's where's the, the image, and we're going to click the plus sign and go to the Pro Select Import Import Pro Select, and you won't see it because uh, it's looking for a PNG file which we're going to make. But so you click down on the drop down list and click PSD, and here shows my card. Okay, open that. Okay, and now it's going to import it. Well, actually, it's going to make a PNG in Photoshop and import that PNG file into ProSelect, and that's why it opened uh, Photoshop. Okay, so now I can close uh, Photoshop, and you can see now we have the card in here. Um, make sure you copy PSD file to resources, and from here we're going to select that. Okay, and so now we've got it in here. We've got to do a few other things. Um, Specifically, we're going to make this a 5x7 card, so I'm going to select 5 as the, the width um, and hit Apply Changes. So there's a change changes the card width to 5x7, basically. Um, and we come down here to show Overlay Mask, uh, and um, so we can actually see what happened to my... Uh, so you want to make the um, the mask just the size of the opening, and so I'm going to select just just the actual size of the opening, just a little beyond maybe. 
just slightly beyond okay so when I import my picture it'll go right in here and uh, that's the last thing you need to do and just hit save changes okay you can see now we have it in our templates so I'm gonna close out of that I'm gonna open uh, some pictures I have a recent album and then we go to layout so we're gonna see it and here's my card here so I double click on that and uh, it opens in Pro Select. And so if I want to pick an image to drop into that, I can come to hit this image here and just drop it. And there we go. Um, you have where you can actually see the, uh, the image as it is inside the card. Okay, and uh, that's how you do that. Um, the other thing, um, let me um, go back to... Uh, is um, when you're transferring from computer to computer when you're if you if you make these uh, if you make these uh, imported templates on a different computer and you want to transfer them to another computer um, the base template will come in missing some data so one of the things you have to do is you have to also copy the pro select resources data uh, folder into um, Windows. So here's what you do. You got to go find it first. We go to Edit, Preferences, okay, and then Default Folder. And you can see here uh, the Resources Folder location, in this case, is under Users, Dave Likes, Application Data, Roaming. Okay, so that's where it's at. So I got to go find that. So I'm going to close out to find that Resources Folder. And um, so one of the things uh, you may have to do first, uh, because that's a hidden folder, is to go into Control Panel, and um, under the Control Panel, you pick Appearance and Personalization, go to Folder Options, and then um, View. And in, in the Windows 7, which I have, you have to click this Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives. So make sure you can see that folder, okay? So then we would go ahead and um, to find it, we would go to, um, let's see, it was, uh, it was Dave Likes uh, Application Data, which you see, you can see this is slightly lighter than the other folders, which means it's a hidden folder, but we can now see it. And I double click on that. We go to Roaming, okay, and come down here to a Pro Select Resources folder, and you would take the folder, uh, either delete this and import the other, or you know, uh, uh, import and save the other folder uh, into this location, and um, then all your templates will work. And that's how you do that. I'm Dave L. David Likes Photography. Thanks for watching.